Wow, look at that light blinking. Today, we're going to control lights with a simple computer called an Arduino. Lights are just the start. We can control almost anything this way, from motors to pneumatics to servos and more. First, let's plug in our Arduino Uno. As you can see, it just connects with the USB-A cable, commonly used for printers. Next, we simply load up our Arduino integrated development environment and open the Blink code example. All you have to do is find it in the File menu, Examples, Basics, Blink. This example code has everything we need, so I'm not even going to modify it. I'll just hit the Upload button, since our Arduino is already connected to the computer. The program needs to know which port it is, so let's select the one that says it's an Arduino. All right, the upload is done, and now we can see the result. Look at that. The light is blinking just as we wanted it to. We can make this a bit more interesting by adding our own light. There we go. We're controlling our own light using this Arduino. So what did we build? Let's start with the electronics. The Blink program is controlling the power to pin 13. The built-in light on the Arduino Uno is connected to pin 13, so it lights up when we apply power to pin 13, and it goes out when we take away power. How about the LED light that we added? We also connected to pin 13, but there is a problem. A direct connection would eventually fry the LED, or the Arduino, or both. Too much power would be flowing. This resistor reduces the power and keeps our electronics safe. There's one more detail. LEDs only work in one direction. So we have to connect the long leg of the LED to the pin, which is producing positive power, and we connect the short leg of the LED to the ground. It doesn't work if we mix up direction. Now let's look at the code, and let's just focus on the two commands that make this work. Those commands are digital write and delay. We use the digital write command to turn the power on and off. LED built-in represents pin 13, which of course has the built-in LED. High means that the power should be on, and low means that the power should be off. We'd never see the difference between on and off if we used only the digital write command. Computers act faster than the eye can see, so we slow the computer down by adding the delay command. We control the delay by giving the command a number, which represents the number of milliseconds to delay. 1000 milliseconds, or 1 second, gives us plenty of time to see the light turn on and off. Now, there's a lot more code than just these two commands, but this is enough to really do some interesting things. We could move the external LED to another pin to run it independently of the built-in LED. We could play around with the delay to make interesting patterns. And more than that, this is a great place to jump into how to program in C++, how the microprocessor and the Arduino works, how to wire electrical components, and how to use various Arduino libraries to control lots of things. Next time, I'll dive deeper into everything Arduino, so be sure to subscribe.